For a long time, water sports have been considered a European and Asian sport, but the Sagana Rapids camp, located along the Tana River in Kenya, has been on the forefront trying to change this. Here's CGTN's Astatal with more on water sports in Kenya. Established in 2007 along Kenya's longest river, the Sagana Rapids camp is changing the face of water sports in the country. Water sport has for a long time been identified with tourists as locals shy away due to fear of the unknown. But since inception 12 years ago, Rapids Camp has slowly been drawing more and more locals into trying at least one of the many water activities they offer. I'm busy where we do most of the water sports, uh, like kayaking, whitewater rafting, lunching, uh, the angels ball. This is one of the most activities that are really very new in Kenya. You've never seen it anywhere else. Like for plunging, this is when you find men screaming, calling their mommy, singing, oh Lord, I'm coming home. Uh, it's one of the best activities. Uh, in terms of activities, I would say we have the best. We have more than 23 activities in terms of water sports. The course along the Sagana River has grown and gained fame throughout the country and across the borders due to its fast waters. The element of adventure has also contributed to the turnout of people streaming into the camp. But their aim has not only been adventure, but also to grow the sport in the East African country. Kenya has over the years been known for track and road running. But in 2012 and 2016, Rapids Camp held Olympic qualifiers for kayaking. For the Olympic qualifiers, this is where we, in terms of slalom, because kayaking we have the flat waters and like slalom, which you just go under the gates and all that, which is quite challenging. It's only done in two places in Africa. One is in South Africa, the other one is in Kenya. This is where we have the natural course, the best place. Uh, this is where you have, uh, like uh, last time we had 20 countries that were here. Uh, in terms of water sports and in terms of kayaking uh, for the team that was going to uh, 2018 uh, Olympics. Slowly the camp is filling up with enthusiasts from across the country and the continent who are on the hunt for a new challenge. Uh, the first one, uh, the rafting, it was very exciting. Though at first, uh, at first uh, I was so scared, yeah? but I had confidence because I had this motor on. Yeah? Yeah, so I could uh, uh, set myself free, I enjoy the water, but now, today I think it is the longest two seconds of my life, yeah? <laughs> the plunging, yeah? it's about six meters, yeah? but you feel like you are jumping from the sky, to, uh, something like 500 feet. <laughs> Despite the 100 kilometers distance from Kenya's capital, Nairobi, Levelers in search of life-changing experience seem to make several visits after their initial one. All this in a bid to conquer their phobias and familiarize themselves with more water sports. Over and over, even every weekend, the problem is money. The economy now, you know, is, uh, <laughs> the economy is challenging, but if, if I have that money and time, it's a place I can do every weekend. A decade ago, the only water sport a majority of Kenyans identified with was swimming. Sagana Rapids Camp has, however, brought to attention other forms of water sports. And one can only imagine that a decade from now, Kenya will have had at least one kayaking representative at the Olympics. Astatal, CGTN.